What's going on everybody? Nice to see you guys again. Welcome to the Legacy FHP YouTube channel. I'm your host. I'm the creator and founder of the Legacy FHP. What does FHP stand for? It stands for Foundation for Human Progress. We are here to help you progress and we are here to be the permanent fulcrum for society to progress. Okay. Um, new breaking news. We have a discord now. The link is below this. You want to keep the conversation going. Join the Discord, okay? Legacy FHB Discord channel, all that good stuff. Um, before I get into this topic, guys, I really want to remind you that it's nice that you watch my videos and I thank you for that. I thank you for subscribing, I thank you for liking, I thank you for sharing. But ultimately, these videos are made so that you can apply the lessons in the video, okay? God is an ideal, not an idea. You can't just think your way into the highest reality. You have to act. You have to apply the lessons that you learn. And I hope you do. If you need help doing it, like I said, join the Discord. Um, so today, I want to talk about brotherhood, unity, and separation, and divisiveness. But for the most part, brotherhood and unity, okay? Um... <laughs> Now, when I, when I say brotherhood, I don't want anybody to think I'm misogynistic or I'm hating on the females because I love the females, I love the girls, my sisters. You guys are the other aspect of divinity and I need to learn a lot more from you because I'm a male, you know? <laughs> I'm very masculine, I guess you could say. Um, but when I say brotherhood, I mean brotherhood and sisterhood, okay? I'm, I'm encompassing the entire of humanity. I'm just using the term brotherhood. So for my sisters out there that are watching this, understand I'm talking about you too, okay? Um, just before I get all these hateful comments, uh, you brother, what about the sister? No, when I say brotherhood, I mean everybody. Fraternity, fraternity like the French say. Fraternity, somebody's gonna, I don't know how to say it. Spanish, fraternidad, right? Um, also, sorority, sisterhood. Legacy is the brotherhood and the sisterhood. The divine family. That's what I'm talking about. Unity. What a good segue. Uh, but seriously, guys, today we are dealing with a lot of serious, gnarly concepts, such as racism, such as, you know, politics, red versus blue, black versus white, race versus race, money versus no money, my ideology versus your ideology. These, are, these could all be considered tribalism, me versus you. Um... If you haven't seen my other video, or my other videos, um, I suggest go watch them, but I explained this topic a couple times. The concept of divide and conquer, okay? This is an ancient war strategy that the Romans are known for using against their people. More people than the Romans have been using this. This has been an ancient strategy since the beginning of time. If you get the people to fight against themselves, they will not turn against the power. That's how the powers that be, the kings, the governments keep a certain type of control is through getting the people to fight against each other. Race war, politic war, party war, call it what you want. Tribalism, me versus you, that's what it comes down to. For lack of a better scenario, or is the perfect scenario? I don't know. I hope I get my message across. I'm going to use this. When aliens attack, you're not going to be worried about, oh, I'm not going to fight with him because he's a Muslim. Oh, I'm not going to go with you because you're white. Oh, I'm not going to go with you because you're Chinese or Asian. No, it's like, yo, bro, we're humans and we need to fight, we need to fight off the aliens, okay? I, I hope you under, I, I hope that that parable can make your, bring your attention to the point at hand is that we are all humans. We're all the same. Beauty is only skin deep. Color is only skin deep, okay? If you blend me up in a blender, and you blend a white dude up in a blender, you blend an Asian dude up in a blender, you blend an a, a Indian dude, the list goes on, in a blender, we're all going to look the same. We're all the same biological material. So get over this tiny little layer that, that uh, signifies that we're different colors. Because we're the same race. People say different race, you're a different race than me. No, we're the same race. We're the human race. Okay? And as humans, like I said, we all have mind, bodies, and spirits. Like I referred to before, different ideology, ideologies, ideologies that separate us. The only ideology that we should be focused on is how we can hit our potential. 
how we can be the best person we can be mentally, physically, and spiritually, and how can we help others do the same. Because if we do this together, guys, regardless of race, nation, color, creed, language, doesn't matter what, belief system, doesn't matter what, if we do this together, it'll just be more efficient. So this video, I'm talking about the whole, a collective, planet Earth, human species, all of us together. I don't know if you notice this, but yeah, we're all floating on a huge rock through space called planet Earth. We're in this together, guys, and we need to figure out the problems together. It's not going to help to, to uh, delay progress through tribalism, through me versus you type thinking. We are the divine brotherhood. We are the divine sisterhood. We are the divine family. We need to start thinking as such, okay? Everybody's so quick to get up in arms, to get defensive, because that person thinks differently than me. Um, and I, yeah, I understand this. I understand we have a multitude of different problems, you know, um, red versus blue, you know, the, the, the eat the rich. I hate that freaking term. That's ridiculous. Okay. Eat the rich. They make too much money. You know, they're, they're, they are, uh, they create tax havens in the Bahamas that circumvent American taxes so that everybody doesn't get paid through the tax system. Right. And now a lot of people don't like this because the rich people are kind of, you know, like I said, circumventing the entire system. I always say, don't ever try to cheat the system. If you're trying to cheat the system, it's incorrect because now you're, you're pull, if you're pulling away from the system, it's coming from somewhere. You get what I'm trying to say? And if you're lazy and you just want to use the system for a check, but you don't want to do the work, then you're just as bad as the person who is creating a tax haven in the Bahamas. You get what I'm trying to say? It doesn't matter who you are. What it comes down to is taking responsibility for the self, the mind, the body, and the spirit, and hitting your potential. Now, if the person on welfare who needs the money because the rich people are making so much money, but they do create tax havens, and the tax haven guy who is hiding his money in offshore accounts so that he doesn't get taxed on this, if they both had this mentality of hitting their potential and helping everybody on the planet do the same, these type of thoughts would kind of sink to the wayside because now it's about what? It's about hitting your potential as a society and society is made of individuals. So if everybody individually, if every individual thinks this thought and act, applies this thought, hitting their potential mentally, physically, and spiritually together, then you'll see quote unquote utopia. Yeah, messages incoming. I'm ready for the hate. I'm ready for the fire. Yeah, I know. Not utopia. Utopia. That's a whole different conversation. I know. Um, utopia is not possible. Whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. The best possible planet that we could live on as a species together, regardless of race, color, nation, creed. To say I'm beating a dead horse, guys. So these different ideologies that separate us. If you are subscribing to them, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't subscribe to those whack ideologies. No, but if seriously, if you're subscribing to these ideologies, then you are playing into that whole divide and conquer mentality that I spoke about before, that the Romans were really good at. They would literally go around, they conquered, you know, sorry, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I might get something wrong, but they conquered a lot of different types of people. Some, some Brits, they conquered some Norwegians, they conquered, the, you know, Rome, Rome's empire was huge. They conquered a lot of different types of people. I know some people are going to be like, if you look back in history, this certain section of the country didn't get conquered by them. So we're proud people. I understand that. Sorry. I'm trying to get a point across. Um, the Romans conquered a lot of different regions and they were able to keep control through the divide and conquer technique. If that makes any sense for you, keep the people fighting for yourself. Keep the people fighting amongst themselves and we'll keep power. Don't fall into this trap. It's so easy to cop out of being the best person you can be by pointing the figure at someone else. It's called victim consciousness. The legacy you, you, you need to, sorry. I teach that you need to <laughs> stop exactly where you are. No matter where you are, no matter if it's them versus me, understand that. Okay, wow, I shouldn't be pointing fingers. Take responsibility for the self no matter where you're at in life. And then move forward from there. I have an email. It's in the description. TheLegacyFHP at gmail.com. We can help you with this. We can help you get your mind right. Hit me up. Join the Discord. We got you. But what I'm saying is this ideology needs to stop. Turn on your TV. Go look at the news. 
You think I'm wrong? You think I'm full of crap? Go look at the news. Watch, watch any of those mass media outlets, okay? They're, they're telling you, they're, they're, they're showing you, they're programming, dare I say, you to be separate, to be in that form of tribalism. You're playing into that whole divide and conquer card. Come on, man, you're smarter than that. You're better than that. You actually have unlimited potential. You have not maxed out your potential yet. I have not yet met one human being who is perfect, who has maxed out their potential perfectly. I have not, dude. I rec- Last night I spent hours trying to record. Didn't work out. Only got like half a verse down. Yes, I make music also. Make the tape coming soon. But seriously, no one's perfect, okay? I'm doing my part, and I admonish you to do yours. But what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, I've never met a perfect human being. Period. So... There's, you have no room to point fingers at someone else. We are all here to maximize our potential. So why are you focused? Why are you copying out? Why are you focused on divisive ide- ideologies? Me versus you, us versus them. The only ideology that should be on the entire planet's mind, every single, excuse me, sorry, every single person who lives on this planet today needs to be focused on how can I hit my potential that's the that's the legacy pledge of duty man when you come talk to us i'm going to make you memorize it straight up because you need to memorize it i'll send you i'll send you a wall hanger for you so that every time you wake up you see it you're like okay you get motivated the legacy pledge of duty i pledge to be the best person i can be and i pledge to help others do the same you get that that's the first half the second half you gotta join the discord but seriously you need to be the best person you can be you need to help others do the same. This is the meaning of life. I know it's a grandiose statement, but if you really analyze it, it is the meaning of life. The universe created you not to be half-assed, not to be, not to be uh, dysfunctional, not to, be, uh, not to hit your potential. The universe created you. It waited, what, 13.6, 13.8 billion years to create you. It wants to see you do the best you can be, to hit your potential, to see what you're made of, to max out in reality, mentally, physically. And spiritually that's what the legacy fhp is here to do the legacy foundation for human progress we're here to help you guys progress and this video literally is about brotherhood and unity stop if i know okay i'm a human being too i know there are human beings out here that wake up and instantly they they, they're, they snap into this um divisive ideology me versus them the democrats the republicans um, i got family members Democrats versus Republicans, you know, all the blacks, the whites, the Asians, the Mexicans crossing the border. Hell, my mom's from Mexico. I'm half Mexican. Okay? Yo soy espanol. Si. I know Spanish. Um, all of these types of thinking that is going to prevent the progress of humanity, the antithesis of the legacy, the foundation for human progress, if any of these ideologies are preventing you personally, then it's stopping society as a whole. The, the part and the collective, you know what I'm saying? No matter what way you look at it, the part is part of the collective. You can try to deny that and get into some distorted materialistic, mo- I'm only focused on money, it's all about me, ego. You can get into that type of thinking. That is incorrect. I'm gonna check your ass right now. Excuse my French, pardon my French. But anyway, I'm gonna check you right now. That's, that's the wrong way of thinking. It's nice to be, it's nice to have a great life. It's nice to maximize your potential. But it's, it's, it's not lining up with the meaning of life if you're not doing it for A, not only hitting your potential, but B, for the upliftment of humanity. You get what I'm trying to say? So don't subscribe to these ideologies. Be conscious, conscious, be conscious of these types of thinking in your everyday life from when you wake up to when you fall asleep. That's why I'm making this video. So that hopefully, if you didn't, like, let's say you didn't watch this video, you wake up and you just snap into it. Oh, Republicans for Democrats because you see online. No, hopefully if after you watch this video, when that happens, you say, wait a second. Oh, whoa, whoa. I remember what D-Bake said. I remember what Dedrick said. I remember what the Legacy Boys said. He's, okay, now you're conscious of these divisive things getting thrown at you and you're like, oh, you see past them. You see the, what the powers that be are trying to do to keep power. If that makes any sense to you guys. And the only power at B should be a government for the people, all people, the progress of all people, period. Anything else that does not uh, back that, that does not 
um, advertise that does that that does not say that that, that that does not embody that needs to get pushed to the wayside and don't forget people America the government is for the people for the people by the people for the people okay for us by us so if the if anything exists as a structure of influence in society that isn't aligned for the people that isn't aligned to help every single man progress hit their potential if anything is designed other than that and it, you you encounter that in your mind you actually are subscribed to that way of thinking I'm making this video for you for everybody so that you can check yourself instantaneously be like whoa whoa that's crazy why was I thinking that why am I looking at a human being why am I looking down upon another human being because of my um, ideological separation if that makes any sense I know it's hard. These conversations need to come to the table. It can't be it can't be fixed with one YouTube video. But if we don't try, then we're nobody. We're cowards. I understand that there are cowards on planet Earth. But the legacy, we are not cowards. Okay? We are the legacy of humankind. We lit don't think of it as a, like a name, a corporation of the legacy. No, it's the legacy of humankind. That's why it's named the legacy. If you want to be a part of the legacy, then join the legacy. You could easily not be a part of the legacy of humankind, just be a parasite, you know, be a, just take in more than you put out, be dead weight. No one wants to be that. Don't be that. Be part of the legacy of humankind. And that's why we're here. I'm here to help you out. Okay. Want to join the legacy? Hit up the email below this, it's gonna pop up right here. The legacy fhp at gmail.com. Um, obviously, suits join the Discord. We have a Discord now, yay! Hooray! We're going into the 21st century now. Yeah, we got the Discord. Join the Discord, it's below this, it'll pop up right here. Like, subscribe, and share it. Help a brother out. Watch my other videos, okay? We got some study groups coming, so look for the times in the description. I will be um, just there as a facilitator, helping you guys out with mind, body, spirit, progress, and talking about deep concepts, religious concepts, uh, personal routines, how the universe and how when your relationship to the universe, and how you should go about on your transit through planet Earth, if that makes any sense, because Earth is a training sphere. Okay, I'm here to help you out. I'm here to make sure that you hit your potential. And remember what I said, apply the lessons learned in the video. Don't just watch the video. Apply it. I love you guys. Seriously, this is the legacy on brotherhood, unity, you know, divisiveness, diversity, separation, the part in the whole, brotherhood, sisterhood, the divine family, the human family. Thanks for listening. Until next time, au revoir.